Today we're in the California Delta to see the incredible results of one of the world's largest restoration projects, costing over $63 million and two decades in the making. In this show, we're going to find out how this massive 30,000 acre transformation is increasing California's water supply, preventing flooding for millions of people, and has created a thriving ecosystem for endangered species. The California Delta is the largest estuary and inland river delta in the Western Americas. Located in Northern California's San Francisco Bay Area, it is home to a complex network of watersheds. Millions of migrating shorebirds annually take refuge in the delta, which is considered the most important component of the Pacific Flyway. The Pacific Flyway is a major north-south flyway route for migrating birds in the Americas, which extends from Alaska to Patagonia in Chile and Argentina. The Delta historically supported a diversity of salmon species like Chinook and Coho salmon, which have all seen significant decline due to habitat loss. Since the mid 19th century, most of the Delta and estuary have been significantly altered and heavily re-engineered to accommodate the needs of agriculture and urban development. Only about 2% of the estuary marsh habitat remains. Nearly 73% of the delta is devoted to agriculture and about 10% of the delta has been urbanized. Today we are looking at an enormous 30,000 acre ecosystem restoration that is doubling the region's amount of natural habitat. A first of its kind, 20 years in the making experiment that includes five main projects that stretch over 70 miles across the delta and include more than 13 smaller projects which are all being connected and linked together. Vast new areas of floodplains and tidal and wetland habitats have been established. It's increased the amount of forest along the rivers and removed barriers to fish migration that have been in place for over a hundred years. So let's dive into the flagship project of this giant restoration effort. The Dutch Slough Tidal Mass Restoration Project is one of the first major tidal wetland restoration sites in the Delta. Restoring 1,187 acres of natural delta habitats on the site, formerly planned for urban development. However, instead of building new houses here, the former farmland, used for grazing and dairy pastures, is now being transformed back into a critically needed delta marsh habitat, which will boost the survival rates of endangered fish and wildlife like salmon, split tail and delta smelt species that the whole food chain and ecosystem depend on for their survival, including orcas and whales. The construction process consisted of earth moving to create the proper elevations for gradually sloping marsh plains. Two million cubic yards of earth was moved in order to raise the site so it was suitable for tidal elevations and to create the foundation needed to re-establish marsh habitat. A first-of-its-kind experiment, the design is inspired by nature. The project has replicated the area's historic tidal channel to build a new channel network. It has applied delta-specific channel designs that are considered the proper width, depth and curvature inspired by the remains of historic tidal channels that can still be found in areas surrounding the site. Working with local native plant nurseries, the project installed more than 40,000 trees, shrubs, flowering plants and grasses. As soon as the engineers breached the levees, wildlife and vegetation came in rapidly. Now the marshes are teeming with diverse wildlife again. Sears Point is a 1,000 acre tidal wetland restoration project. Situated on the north shore of the delta that was drained in the 1800s to be used for agriculture, after 10 years of preparation, excavators breached a 150-year-old levee to allow for the tides to pour back in nearly 1,000 acres of diked agricultural baylands. The project constructed channels and 500 marsh mounds to promote sediment retention. The new wetlands are not only creating a vital habitat for wildlife and filtering pollutants, it is also acting as an important buffer against storm surges, as well as flooding to nearby roads and communities that were previously at risk. The Delta is considered the heart of California's water system, pumping out water through canals and pipes to millions of residents, agricultural lands and businesses. Improved and increased habitat for fish and plants increases healthy wetland areas, which means more water abundance. 
Wetlands are extremely important for recharging the aquifers, which is where drinking water comes from. Because they capture and store water and slowly filter clean water into the ground to replenish the aquifers. There is one very, very small but extremely important organism who is benefiting greatly from these restoration projects. Since the 2000s, scientists have noticed that plankton numbers have been decreasing in the estuary, which has led to the decline of several fish species like delta smelt who are found nowhere else in the world. Tidal wetlands are where plankton breed and by reconnecting them to the tides, the plankton can be distributed out into the rest of the delta for the fish to feed on them. All the wetlands and floodplains that are being connected to daily tidal flows of water have massively increased plankton numbers in the delta, benefiting the whole ecosystem. This benefits humans too. The hundreds of acres of floodplains and wetlands which have been created also protect millions of people, homes and businesses from flooding events. Large areas of wetlands can absorb vast amounts of water influx designed to direct water flows and flooding events away from people and infrastructure. Which is why these wetland restoration projects have multiple interconnected benefits for humans and wildlife, solving the problems people in this region have been facing for over a century.